Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on our ISTQB AI tester certification. We are in chapter one talking about the introduction to AI and as a part of today's tutorial, we'll be stepping into the next segment which is 1.9 standards or regulations and AI. Of course, when it comes to talking about segments like AI, they are equally driven by different standards and regulatory acts, which we need to just get a glimpse of and have an understanding of what exactly are the various standards which can contribute to the implementation of AI. It's not that simple, of course, different organizations are using different standards and have to abide by them to make sure that their AI implementation makes completely regulation expectations in terms of implementing these ideas into an AI-based system. Now, the Joint Technical Committee of IEC and ISO on Information Technology, which is JTC1, prepares the international standards which contribute towards AI. Now, that's the most important thing to talk about, that which is the committee leading that. So at any point of time, you can follow these uh, committee standards to understand what are the new things they have implemented and rolled out. For example, a subcommittee on AI, that is ISO IEC, JDC 1 by 7 c 42 was set up in 2017. In addition, IOC, ISO IEC, JTC 1, SC 7, which covers software and system engineering, has published a technical report on the testing of AI systems. Of course, uh, there are a lot of several subcommittees which are looking into different segments and different industry types to support with all the necessary standards which we must be following in order to make this them needful. Now, standards on the AI are also published at the regional level, which is like country specific or uh, within a particular continent, that is European standards and even at the national level. The EU wide, which is European wide, General Data Protection Regulation, which is GDPR, came into effect in May 2018. Now, let's uh, sets obligations for data controller with regards to personal data and automated decision making to any extent. Now this also includes requirement to access uh, and improve AI systems functional performance including the mitigation of potential discrimination and for ensuring individuals right to not to be subjected to automated decision making. The most important aspect of GDPR from a testing perspective is that the personal data, including predictions, should be accurate. Now, of course, we all know about the GDPR standards from our day-to-day -day work, working in any organization where we talk about the data protections at organization level. But at the same time, this applies to the individual's PII, which is personal info identification information, which certainly makes equally sense that your personal information or any kind of decisions made by machines collected through your inputs should be kept secured and following these protocols. Now, this does not mean that every single prediction made by the system must be accurate. Talking about the accuracy, of course, you cannot expect the robots to be very, very accurate at points, especially when you're talking about AI-based systems. They may have certain pictures or certain training data which might not be available to them and sometimes they can make slightly inaccurate results and outputs which certainly doesn't mean that it could be a claim that the system is incapable of performing what they need to perform. So it's, it's completely agreed that the AI-based systems can be to a certain extent having a tolerance on the accuracy and uh, but that the system should be accurate enough for the purposes for which it is used. If there are fundamental claims, the system can make decisions about certain particular modules, then the machine should not be going anywhere wrong in that context. So we must look forward to have all that information in place to make sure that this can be uh, implemented and that's where the standards can be followed. At this point of time, the German National Standard Body that is DIN, has also developed the AI quality meta model, right? Which helps us to reach all the extent of understanding on the standards and certainly does the needful. 
Also to add, talking about the standards on the AI are also published by industry bodies internally. For example, the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers, which is IEEE, is working on range of standards on ethics and AI. The IEEE Global Initiative for Ethical Consideration in Artificial Intelligence and Autonomous System. Many of these standards are still in development at the time of the syllabus was written. So of course, uh, there are a lot of things which will be implemented and rolled out gradually. But at this point of time, IEEE Global Initiative was writing certain standards for the AI and autonomous systems which will be used in the AI-based systems. Where AI is used in safety-related systems, the relevant regulatory standards are applicable, such as I6, ISO 26262, which are basically particular to safety integrity of automotive systems, and, of course, other one is ISO PASS 21448, that is SOTIF. Now, PASS here certainly goes in line with uh, the public available specification, and the SOTIF put together uh, goes with understanding on what exactly does that mean is safety of the intended functionality, safety of uh, intended functionality, which goes with in short form, that is SOTIF. Right. So put together, there are a lot of such standards which are driving the uh, AI standards in terms of automotive industry. Similarly, specific industries like banking, healthcare, or e-commerce might have their own set of standards to drive any kind of AI-based systems within their industry. Now, such regulatory standards are typically mandated by the government bodies, and it would be illegal to sell a car in some countries if included software did not comply with ISO 26262, which is our safety standards to build any kind of product for automotive devices or automotives put together. Now, standards in isolation are voluntary documentations, and their use is normally only made mandatory by legislation or contract. However, many users of standards do so to benefit from the expertise of the authors and to create products that are high in quality. Now put together, of course, these standards are not only to make sure that they are regulating you and making you adhere to certain specific things, but some organizations look forward to follow these standards to build their fundamental process and also to adhere to get equivalent to the industry standards. Could be their baseline to make sure that the products are meeting all their expectations in a way that it can compete with industry-wide practices. So that was all to talk about the introduction to AI and that's all from this particular chapter 2. We'll be looking forward to have some sample questions coming up next in our tutorial so stay tuned for that. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.